Welcome to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Incorporated. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be when you got that triangle choke and you can't quite get the finish. I have some arm lock options for you. I hope you can incorporate it in your game. Enjoy. So we've got the triangle choke position. We've all been there before, and we've all had that frustration of trying to finish, it doesn't quite work. So option number one for arm locks is when he goes to stack me a little bit, and I actually can reach this inside knee. If I can reach this inside knee, I just help rotate a little bit, and from here, I, I transfer my left leg over top of the head for the straight arm lock. If he posts with his leg to maintain here, once I got this position, I take the hand and then I just push the elbow up to finish the straight arm lock. This little detail I got from Professor Leandro, so thank you Professor Leandro. It's about grabbing the inside leg. If you cannot reach the inside leg, the straight arm lock, not quite there for you. He has to do a little bit of stacking, do a little bit of stacking. I gotta rotate once I can reach it, then the finish is way more high percentage. I transfer the leg over top of the head and I extend my body for the straight arm lock. If he defends the straight arm lock, then I just bring my knees over on his back and then I go to my regular grip for the straight arm lock finish. I'm in triangle choke position. My partner wants to avoid this reaching of the leg. He now wants to, he stacks me a little bit, but I can't quite reach the leg properly. And now he's going the other way. He's bringing his elbow back this way. So my decision-making needs to be for the Oma Palata um, attack from here. So if I can't reach one leg, I go for the other arm for the Oma Palata. Straighten them out, hip out, hip out, and get the finish. About the Oma Palata, if he's leaning to my left, I go for his right arm. So as I have the triangle choke position, and he's, he's more in line with me, and this is too far of a reach, and I don't have the angle, and if I feel the pressure of his arm this way, because he knows I want his arm over this way. They tend in their resistance to pull the arm back. I just clear the fist, push the head, and he helps me with that momentum. From here, I make sure he doesn't roll out of it by grabbing his waistline, and then I just hip out, hip out, and I'm in triangle choke position. I'm trying to finish. I feel he's more centered, so he's in that sweet spot where I can't angle off to go for the straight arm lock, I can't angle off to go for that omoplata, so now I'm in that zone. All I do from here is I try to push that elbow off my center line or past it, and then I attack for the Americana type arm lock. I'm in triangle choke position. I feel I can't angle off one way or another, so I grab his arm that's in the middle of the triangle, try to lift up to anchor the elbow on my body, and then I get the Americana. Three fundamental arm lock options when that triangle choke can't be finished. So it's all about knowing the right decision, the right attack to whatever resistance he's giving you. If you're gonna be doing the wrong attack for the wrong angle he's at, you'll be far away, you're gonna be far away from the finish. So it's important to recognize which way his body is at in order to apply whatever arm lock suited. So rep that out, hope you're successful with it, and I look forward to seeing you in the mat soon.